rigid place that doesn't require ether to function. Just as I thought. There's going to be more of them attacking at night. Take good care of the control center. I'll focus on repairing the teleport. I've added easier energy parameters to the turret's auto-aiming system, so it can automatically target these creatures. You want to adjust the turret position to ensure they have the best position. outside the control center. Don't just sit there, get the wrench and repair them! Well done! Keep your guard up! My scans are detecting more monsters in I took a crack at creating upgrade blueprints. Here, you can try using collected components to upgrade your turret. When all else fails, do what often do in these situations. Use nine. More enemies are appearing on the radar. Keep going. The ether energy collector is working now. And keep it from being destroyed. Wait a minute. I found the coordinates of our target universe. It's... It's as if there's an energy radiant.
But you don't die. Hey, Vin Vin, huh? Not that you have a Back off, Doc. Hey, kid. Uh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It could sound more appealing than a slimy stranger giving you orders. Trust me, I know the feeling. But listen, this place has gone to hell. It's gone worse hell. fast. Rick Dawson is stepping up to repair our teleportation of ours. It's not going to be an easy job. You find us and provide some support. You might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this town. Still some supplies. Get yourself armed and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. Ugly. A broken clock is right twice a day. Yes. A broken clock well, is right twice a day. Yes. Well, that's a plan. Well, that is right, gentlemen. The first oh, correct strike of it. First correct strike of it. The 
because of course they do. Ah, oh, 
homeland, unity is our virtue, so be generous. Leave extra materials in public warehouse for your teammates to use.
wrong rabbit hole, Alice. But beggars can't be choosers, hmm? So let's make a deal. You help us, and you don't die. A win-win, yeah? Not that you have much choice here. Back off, Doc. Hey, kid, I know what you're thinking. What could sound more appealing than a slimy stranger giving you orders? Trust me, I know the feeling. But listen, this place has gone to hell. It's getting worse fast. Rick Toffin is stepping up to repair our teleportation device. It's not going to be an easy job. You find us and provide some support. You might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this dump. Get yourself armed and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is German and his plan. Consider it the first correct strike of day. I'm afraid it is my duty to break bad news. By passing through the rift, your world has been affected by the ether. Ether energy has the power to tear open the seams of the multiverse itself, allowing humans and objects to shuttle in and out of time and space. Our coming here was purely by accident.
I sense a salvage we've gathered from several scattered vehicles your way. Use it wisely. Running vehicles are rare commodities. And should you happen to use one, exercise caution. The Aesir storm paralyzes motors for nightfalls. Because, of course they do. Be stingy with bullets either. Let them rain down. 